Farmland bird species in Europe have been in decline for many years, but there are unexplained local differences in the extent of this decline. Ecologists from Radboud University and Sauvon in the Netherlands have now demonstrated that the concentration of imidacloprid insecticide in surface water is the main factor that explains these differences, the scientific journal Nature reports. We looked very thoroughly for other possible factors that might relate to these birds' decline. Our analysis shows that, based on our data, imidacloprid was by far the best explanatory variable for differences in trends between areas. This is the first study that demonstrates a correlation between the decline in populations of vertebrate species and imidacloprid concentrations in surface water. The researchers found a clear trend. The higher the concentrations of imidacloprid in the surface water, the greater the decline in bird numbers. For the 15 bird species included in the study, numbers decreased on average by 3.5% per year in the areas examined where there was more than 20 nanograms of imidacloprid per litre in surface water. This concentration is in fact greatly exceeded in many parts of the Netherlands. In many parts of the Netherlands, breeding birds are counted annually. There are sufficient data available on a number of insectivores for us to analyse trends in their numbers in farmland areas. Imidacloprid is a pesticide that belongs to a class of insecticides known as neonicotinoids. It is one of the most widely used insecticides in agriculture around the world. It was introduced in the Netherlands in 1995. We know that the declines in farmland bird species started before 1995, but the local differences in this decline that we have established after the introduction of imidacloprid are not seen in the counts made before that time. It is still unclear precisely what has caused this decline. Among possible explanations are a shortage of food, consumption of contaminated insects and a combination of both. And for a few species, consumption of seeds coated with insecticide cannot be excluded as an explanation. Neonicotinoids were always regarded as selective toxins, but our results suggest that they may in fact influence the entire ecosystem. This study shows the importance of collecting good sets of field data and to analyze them in a rigorous scientific way. So we were able to discover ecological effects that would otherwise have been overlooked. <laughs>